We'll guide you through how to make a Minecraft mod pack. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. A mod pack is a group of mods that can go and be played together. Perhaps you've got a group you know you want to go and make into one, so we'll guide you through how this can be done. To go and get started, let's go and quit Minecraft. This can be done by using an app, so we'll guide you through this step by step. To go and get started, you do need to make sure you've got Minecraft installed on your computer and you fully own it. You probably already do, but just to confirm that. Now go and open up a web browser of your choice. And what you need to do is you need to go and search something called Curse Forge, like so, all one word, and come to curseforge.com. This is a really great app, which is going to allow us to do this. So go to the top right and press Get Curse Forge app. And then what you can do is go and press Download Standalone, like so. Now it's going to go and start downloading. As you can see, we've got the installer now. We can come out of our web browser. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, they'll be linked down below in the description and the pinned comment. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice, so it's definitely worth checking them out. If we scroll down, we can go and check out some of their great features, like one click and store mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, amongst many other great features as well. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below and come and open up our file explorer and come to our downloads. Here we have Curse Forge. Go and double click it like so, and we get this pop-up. What you can do is press next, then you can go and accept the terms of use and privacy policy, and you do need to confirm you're at least 18 years old. And you can then press next, make sure you then accept and install it like so in the bottom right. When it's finished, it'll go and say forging your library and it should automatically go and open up. Head over to the left and you should go and see the option for Minecraft. If you don't, first of all, do make sure you do have it installed. And what you can then do is press the plus, you can do a scan or you can manually go and add it. So you can try doing a scan first and hopefully it finds it. Otherwise it should already be there. Then what we can do is go and click on it and we can go and start in my mod packs. So you can actually go and get mod packs here, click browse and you can browse through them. In this case, I've got quite a few here already, but of course we're creating our own. So what we need to do is press browse at the top, change this from mod packs in the top left to mods. And what we can do is start choosing the mods we want to do this with. Of course, if there's a specific one you want, you can search for it at the top. What I can do is go and press install over to the right. And what we can do is choose we want to go and install it. We're gonna create a new profile. A profile is essentially the mod pack. I'll name this GRV and we can then go and press create like so. You're going to go and see that it's now doing some installing stuff. All you need to do is go and wait for this to finish. You can see that it now says play. So we could go and play it, but now to add more mods, press add more content. Now what it's gonna do is go and filter for the version forge, which is the mod loader and also the game version as well. So it's gonna go and find the compatible mods here. What I'm gonna do is go and type in minimap like so as I want to get one, I can come to the right and press install and it'll then go and be added. Once you're finished, you can press your Minecraft over to the left and we can scroll down again and go and find the pack. So what we could do is go and click on it, go and press play over to the right and it's going to go and launch. You can go and see the mini map in the top left. You can open the settings by pressing Y. If I go and press E, you can go and see J E 